Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Politics is getting more lively and more interesting each passing day. In this video, I want us to listen in to some remarks made by Oscar Sudi and indeed Inyoro. For the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Listen into this. Tuambiane ukweli. Na vile vile wewe kaudi commissioner pia unajua ulitenganisha watutu hapa na fitina mingi. Sisi tumekusamea but you must resign this government. Atuwezi kukubali yo maneno. Tuambiane ukweli ndio inji ipone. Muluko mnataka fita katika taifa la Kenya. Lakini sisi kama team ya Kenya kwanza tulisimama imara na tukaubiri ya amani na siyasa imeisha. Kaundi commissioner ujipange my friend. Lazima uende nyumbani. Asante na mwenyezi mungu wa ubariki. Yes. That's Oscar Sudi telling a county commissioner to resign. So Oscar Sudi is basically sucking the county commissioner. Let's listen in to Ndidi Nyoro. Mr. President, this is your case. You are the one who have taken us to the Supreme Court. Mr. President, here in Keharo yesterday, there was a TCC holding a meeting with Azimio fellows trying to collect evidence. You must stop misusing public time with nonsense. Yes. That's Ndidi Nyoro. Ndindi Nyoro is threatening President Uhuru Kenyatta. And the president's sin, according to Ndindi Nyoro, is that the president is urging Raila Odinga to go to the Supreme Court of Kenya. That's the sin the president is committing, according to Ndindi Nyoro. So in this video, I want us to dig deep to see exactly what those utterances by Oscar Sudi and Didinyoro means politically and why they might thwart William Ruto's bid to ascend to the presidency. Before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Those remarks by Oscar Sudi and Ndini Nyoro just shows Kenyans clearly the kind of a government we are going to have in the event William Ruto is sworn is as the president. It's going to be an authoritarian government. Nobody will be allowed to have a di divergent opinion to that of the government and even leaders in Uda Party. Should you have a divergent opinion with the government and even leaders in Uda, then you are goose or rather you, you, are, you are going to find it a little bit very rough. That comes out very, very clearly. And then secondly, from those remarks, I'm seeing a William Ruto who is actually thwarting his chances of ascending to the presidency. Because he's not yet been, William Ruto has not been sworn in as the president. He is still the president elect. And his gazettement as a president elect can still be degazetted. And already you are seeing William Ruto making open blunders to his foot soldiers, the likes of Oscar Sudi and Didi Nyoro. And I believe that can thwart William Ruto's chances of ascending to the presidency because now the entire entire government machinery is going to feel threatened with a William Ruto presidency. The Supreme Court itself will also feel threatened with a William Ruto presidency. Kenyans themselves will also feel threatened with a William Ruto presidency. William Ruto is just an, an individual in Kenya. He is not more important than all the over 40, or rather about 50 million Kenyans. He is just a human being, just another Kenyan. 
So I'm seeing a high possibility where Kenyans and even the government and the machinery can now step foot and now put, put things clear that William Ruto will not be sworn in as the president because it's now coming out clearly that a William Ruto's presidency is a threat to everybody. The ruling class, the government itself, and even the ordinary Mwananchi. I'm seeing that can thwart William Ruto's chances of ascending to the presidency. All those powers can gang up against him and he might just find himself not being sworn in as the president. That comes out very clearly. And also from those sentiments and remarks by Oscar Sudi, Kenyans are taken back to Nyayo era when we used to have some road, roadside sackings by the then Daniel Torontich, Arab Moy. So it's coming out clearly that a William Ruto's presidency is a re reincarnation of a Nyayo regime in the early 90s when Nyayo had the power to do a anything he, he wished. A William Ruto's presidency is a reincarnation of a Nyayo era. And that is also coming out very clearly. And should William Ruto be sworn in as the president, most likely I'm seeing him even abolishing the Supreme Court. Hmm? He might even abolish that Supreme Court. That's why I strongly believe that such kind of sentiments and remarks by William Ruto's foot soldiers are doing more harm than good to William Ruto. In that those remarks are making William Ruto's opponents to feel scared. And in feeling scared, they can join efforts to make sure they deny William Ruto that precedence. That's also coming out very clearly. And listening to Ndindinyoro, it's very unfortunate that Ndindinyoro is attacking and even threatening the president. I tend to believe President, President Uru Kenyatta is also a Kenyan. He has got his right, if at all is the one pushing for the Supreme Court petition. That's Uhuru Kenyatta's right. Uhuru Kenyatta never interfered with the election. Uhuru Kenyatta let William Ruto, or rather let Chebukati, declare William Ruto as president-elect. So why is Ndidinyoro and William Ruto and their team, why are they now threatening the president? While the president, if at all it's true, is the one pushing for the case, he's just exercising his democratic right as a Kenyan. Uhuru Kenyatta believed that things can only be solved through the law, which is the Supreme Court of Kenya. Why are they threatening the president? I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the threats by Ndidinyoro against Uhuru Kenyatta just shows the disparation in William Ruto's team. They have already known that their chances of winning at the Supreme Court are almost zero, nil. That's why now they are, they are getting angry. They are threatening the president, which is very unfortunate. Yes. And also if you look at some of their legal team, the likes of Amen Nasir Abdullahi, some few hours ago, Amen Nasir Abdullahi poured some cold waters on William Ruto getting a win at the Supreme Court of Kenya. So they feel that the president might be the obstacle between them and the presidency. They are just panicking. And this is why I still maintain, and I repeat, Kenya, a William Ruto's presidency, most likely will do a lot of injustice to Kenyans. The kind of democratic space we are currently enjoying in a William Ruto's presidency, all those kind of democratic spaces will just be eroded. That's coming out very, very clearly, ladies and gentlemen. Let me leave it there. In case you are watching us, for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, 
I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight on to the point. We call it as it is, without fear or favor. In case you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe. Any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.